buy from 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, we got another Patreon request movie coming at you guys on the channel here today from the homie That's So Gordo and his fiance. Happy birthday to her and shout out to them for requesting this over on Patreon, man. Spy. Never seen trailers for it. I did look at the cast for this movie and I see a lot of familiar faces. I know Jason Statham is in this. I know Melissa McCarthy is in this and I've seen her in a few things. I don't know. I think I've reacted to a few things with her in it on the channel, but I know I've also watched a few things with her uh, that she's in outside of the channel as well. So I'm familiar with her and obviously Jason Statham, man. Familiar with him as well, but it's supposed to be an action comedy. I've never seen it. I haven't seen trailers for it. Don't know what to expect going into it, but it has been a minute since I've done a comedy on the channel. I feel like we went on a, you know, we went on a pretty long kick where we were doing a ton of comedies and then I kind of, you know, I switched, switched it up and I've been doing some horror slasher stuff. So it's going to be cool to get back into a comedy movie and an action comedy at that. But guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie before we do. I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys think next, man. Jump a like on the video for your boy for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this movie. I'm trying to think back to all the movies I've seen uh, Melissa McCarthy in. I think I've seen The Heat. I know I've seen, I, I've seen Identity Theft, which is like one of the first movies I think I've seen with her in it. I think she was in The Hangover Part 2, I want to say. Part 1 or 2. And I don't know what else. And then Jason Statham. He's in a ton of different movies. One that comes to mind, obviously, Hobbs and Shaw. I haven't seen all the Fast and Furious movies. I've seen the first two, and I watched the Hobbs and Shaw spinoff in theaters. See, when my men and I hit it, Make sure to erase any witnesses. Damn. And then I erase the erasers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense. So nobody except him knows where it is. I'm now the only one who knows just where that dangerously compact and transportable nuke is. Damn. It's not just a bomb, it's a compact nuke, bitch. I'd say you'd better stop. <laughs> what the fuck? Did my man just sneeze and accidentally shit? Oh my god, dude. This really is gonna be a comedy, huh? Why did you do that? <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. There's like a ton of pollen in here. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Watch your back. Oh, that was a close one, fine. Eh? The finest of them all. You are? <laughs> You're so fine, you're so fine, you're Oh my god, stop, please. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude, the sound of bones breaking always makes me cringe. Oh, what the fuck, bats? Y'all got rats, bats, everything. Oh dear, did I forget to knock? Yeah. Hey, that was smooth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn, look at all those supercars, bruh. God damn, bro. Oh shit. Hey, pick up my dry cleaning for me, would you also get my car? Oh sure, no problem. So is she just like his assistant? Critical, but this is very chewy. Coop, you're eating a hand towel. <laughs> Cleansing my palate. <laughs> Good save. We're a perfect team. That's why we work. Yeah. Come here. Oh God, what's about to happen? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting pink eye. <laughs> oh my God. Do you like wipe your eye after you cleaned out the cat? Ah, I think she's a cat lady, bro. It's so fucked up, but <laughs> it's just so over the top awkwardness. I love it. Okay, pull back fine. I, it, this is too easy. Exactly. Like that are easy. Damn, what the fuck? Did he break his neck when he did that? Like, holy shit. 
Oh Amazing. shit. You? He's about to die. That's what. Damn. I wonder if she's gonna end up having to go out on the field as an actual spy to save him. No, 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 no! Damn it! Fine. Let me adjust the angle a little bit. Oh shit. I suggest you stay far away from me. Yeah, I'm guessing she's gonna end up being a spy and going out in the field for real. Damn, they really killed him like that. It could be a mole, they could have hacked our system. It's anyone's guess. The bottom line is, Reina Boyanov is about to sell a small-scale tactical nuclear weapon to a terrorist organization, and we don't know where she or the bomb is. Maybe the mole is Karen. Susan Cooper found a lead. Reina had the number of Sergio DeLuca. And we've long suspected DeLuca of working as an intermediary with terrorist groups. Reina, we need someone to follow DeLuca without being detected, and that will hopefully take us to Reina, but it can't be any of you. Here's what we do. It's gonna be Nancy, or it's gonna be Susan. Then consider this. Or quit. Mm. And I know it is a fucking face-up machine. You're just keeping a secret. Was that really his only role in the movie, or is he gonna come back? I mean, he's gotta come back, right? You really think you're ready for the field? I once used defibrillators on my son. I put shards of glass in my fucking eye. This arm has been ripped off completely and reattached with this fucking arm. I don't know that that's possible. I don't think it is. Quickly. During the threat of an assassination attempt, I appeared convincingly in front of Congress as Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, come on. Come on. We draw the line there. Drive a car off a freeway on top of a train while I was on fire. <laughs> I was on fire. Jesus, you're intense. Some might say those stories are a little exaggerated. We're gonna ruin this mission. No, you're gonna ruin this mission. Oh, uh, got him. You are. No, you're going to. You. <laughs> Time's infinity. Hotel be more murdery. I know, bro. This looks like straight out of a horror movie, man. Holy shit. The lighting, the wallpaper, everything, bro. I'm glad Jason's still in this shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey. Let's see what you got, Susan. I was just looking for my bird. I said, hey, Mr. Beanbag. Mr. Beanbag. I'm going to give you a warning. I don't want to see any more of the. The funny bomb stuff, you know. All right, that's enough. You see, it works better when you have the bullets inside the gun. Is there one in the chamber, though? Oops. Oh, I guess that CIA training is. You ain't have one in the chamber already? Damn. Oh shit! The broken balls, man. Oh fuck. Sounded like he got impaled with something. Oh, fuck, he did. What did you do? Oh, that's her first kill. Oh, fuck, don't show me that, don't show me that, don't show me that. Oh my god, all on him too, don't show me, throw up, please. We're gonna seduce him, that you big fucking blizzard. Yeah, what if it is, why, why is that so hard to believe? Because you look like a flute player in a wedding band. That's fucking why. God, I found her. I found Raina, she's with Saluka. You did it. Excellent tracking and reporting, madam. Well, oh, fuck. Whose drink is that? What is it? Is it poison? I don't think it's a fiber supplement. <laughs> Fine, Nance. I could really enjoy just watching her die right now. Yeah, but you gotta find that bomb. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, ma Hi, do you speak English? Because I think somebody just put a roofie in. <laughs> you sure it wasn't you? What? No, God, I wouldn't, I would never. Could you point the man out? Uh, well, he just kind of zipped out that, uh, door. He Thank you, Miss... Oh, Penny Morgan. Um, but it's no trouble, really. I mean, I, I think us ladies have to watch out for each other. I don't know any of you people. Okay, I'm just in Rome on business. I was about to head back to my hotel and go to sleep. Fuck you, Rena. Mmm. Mmm. Scrumptious. So, joke's on you. 
motherfucker's about to die. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Bro couldn't talk, but he still got it out. Oh shit! God damn! What the fuck? Is that like. Acid? Damn near? What the fuck? Oh, thank God. You disappeared for 12 hours. We didn't know what had happened. Well, I had to take out my earpiece and my camera. Farina's onto her agents, and she was going to spot my equipment from a mile away. Don't worry, because I'll be able to keep a better eye on you now. What are you talking about? How? <laughs> she came here, bro. Exactly what you were up to, so I tracked your earpiece. They sent me here to find you. Is it you? Well, I'm as unknown as you are, so they thought my cover was safe. Mm -hmm. Amber! Yes! <gasps> Who is this? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the police were here. This is my colleague, detective. The one I fucking told you about. Nathan. Yes, uh. I did, Helen Keller! <laughs> what?! Oh, shit. Hey, she's good, though. She's always aware. Susan, get ready to safety now! Uh. What the fuck is covering her head with your jacket gonna do, bro? What the fuck? Where are we going? It smells like cheese under here. Apologies, Dad. I may be sweating. Jesus. Why are we still covering her? Lasagna. Fucking ridiculous clown show. <laughs> Fuckery stops now. Oh god, dude. Oh. <clears throat> Shit! People are trying to kill me, and all that's left of my fucking security team is you two defending me. Do you have anyone on your team other than this asthmatic big bird? I'm very non-physically resourceful. I do a lot of reading. I read palms and maps, and I've read all of the Hunger Games. <laughs> what are you doing, Ford? I'm here to help you, Cooper. You may have found Rita, but you cannot lose her. You are going to blow my fucking cover. Yeah, sunglasses are not a cover. They're an accessory. Get out of here. You're going to fuck this up without me around to save your girly ass. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck, man? Hey, hey Fanny! Hey. What the fuck? Just had some goulash. The shit was on point. Yeah, goulash is fire, bro. I'm at goulash in forever. There she is, the buyer. Oh my God, Susan! Okay, bigger diversion. Huge bigger diversion. diversion. Oh shit! I know that shit gotta hurt! Oh shit! Motherfucker's dual wielding! She got a butcher knife in the pan! Oh shit, this is gonna be our second kill. Ooh, don't start to me in slow mo! Ooh. Thanks for your weapon. You know, it's been inside you, so I don't think it should go inside. <laughs> oh my god, German suplex, bitch! Oh fuck. Through it. Oh, she heard. How did you do that? I didn't. He did. Oh, fuck. What the hell? He's a double agent, too? I didn't see that coming, bro. I saw her becoming an agent and shit. I did not see him still being alive. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Part of the reason he didn't want her in the field and stuff. Raina knew all about our agents because Karen Walker sold her the names. I just couldn't trust anyone at the agency not to give me away, not even you. Damn. So he is the one who shot Karen. We're heading to the Lucas Villa to meet with Duliev. Then we're taking him to wherever the bomb is. This thing's almost over. I thought maybe he was just trying to be undercover, but at this point in the movie, I have no I fucking idea. I will inch one man. <laughs> He's gonna try to use his mouth. <laughs> Being very loud. Yeah, you're lucky there ain't no guards. Ow. 
What the fuck? No, 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 yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes. Excuse me. Can't be happening. <sighs> and damn it, I was having such an empowering moment. That's where this. What the fuck? Thank you, Aldo. I don't want to know why my neck is wet, but you did excellent. Oh, that is gross. Dear God, bro, Aldo, a freak. <laughs> If we don't get rid of him right now, I'm calling off the deal. Don't you fucking dare. Yeah, why don't you listen to that asshole? Don't you fucking dare. Uh, you're a bit outnumbered here, Miss... What was your plan here? I mean, I know she called the CIA. She told uh, Aldo to call the CIA for backup. You work for the CIA, yet you're willing to help me sell a nuclear bomb in order to save this man's life. Why would I believe that? Because she's in love with him. Yeah, so what? This idiot doesn't even know. <laughs> he acts surprised. You fuck the CIA, right? What have they ever done for me? Took 10 years of my life, gave me shitty pay, put me in a basement with a ceiling full of bats, and pretty sure gave me pink eye or at least an allergy. <laughs> I think we're just buying time. Yeah, we're just buying time, but it is sad she said that because that is really how she feels about fine. Now, if this wasn't a comedy, I think maybe they would end up together, but being as this is a comedy, I doubt they're going to end up together. Unbelievable. You know, you could have warned me, Reyna. I've been throwing my gym clothes on top of that thing for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfuck has been driving around with a nuke in the car. It is beautiful. Yes, it is. Yep. The double cross. Conducting business. Damn. I expected a double cross to come in. Oh shit. Dude, Ford just does nothing ever. Ford does nothing, bro. He just has all these stories. That's it. God, I am not in the fucking mood for your bullshit. <laughs> and you'll love this. Oh, fuck. Damn. And the diamonds, bro. Those are going to be spread out all down there. Bro, I would. I'm diving in that shit. Die. Oh, shit. Her of all people, Nancy? What the fuck? <laughs> I did not expect her to come back. I thought it was gonna be Bradley again. Oh shit, how is this fucker still alive? <laughs> oh my god, bro, that's gonna be the worst backflop ever. That motherfucker that's gonna be like King Concrete at that point. Holy shit. It's just getting better and better. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I can't believe 50 Cent was in this shit. Oh my gosh, bro. The nuke in the water and the motherfucking diamonds. Bro, I'm grabbing my scuba gear, scuba gear and I'm diving in that shit. Good job, guys. Sorry about the lake. Anyway, call my lawyer. Get the guard tote from the hotel. I need everything Do you think time. I still work for you? It, she never did. Come on now. Glad you're still alive, Beverly, oh. you silly fucking girly wanker. God. Nice work, Cooper. This motherfucker does nothing, bro. It just has stories to tell. Well, that's not easy for you to do. Oh, fuck it. Look, you did a good job. Probably just beginner's luck, though. Sometimes a man needs to go to sea. Sounds good, Ford. Good for you. Take care. Fucking Ford, dude. To celebrate, I hope you like champagne and beef jerky. Well, oh, that's a... You have to, because I stole a case of it. I don't know if I like them together. Champagne and beef jerky, yeah, I don't know if they go together, but beef jerky is definitely one of the best things ever, bro. Beef jerky's... Beef jerky is definitely a requirement for road trips, bro. Uh, uh, ah! Ah! Ah, stop screaming, you loved it. Ah! What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have done the uh, beef jerky and champagne. Jesus, man, what the fuck was this movie, bro? 
Oh my god, dude, my cheeks hurt from smiling and laughing so much. Spy from 2015 is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking movie. I think, bro, this movie with the dialogue and shit was some of the most outlandish stuff I think I've ever heard in a fucking movie, man. Like, I feel like the movies Melissa McCarthy's in normally have crazy ass dialogue like this like it's been a minute since i've seen identity theft i i know i've seen parts of the heat i don't know if i watched the whole thing but everything i ever seen her in and even in um you know the hangover always has just crazy ass lines and it's like she's playing this a similar character in each movie kind of like how zach galifianakis does with his character you know it's obviously a different one in every movie but it's similar to the one he plays in like you know due date and the hangover and stuff like that and i think it's fantastic man she's a fucking hilarious actor and she 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 kills the roles every single time she plays them man it's fucking amazing and then seeing jason statham play a character like that because normally he's playing like the badass and everything and in this obviously he's you know he's playing someone who's supposed to be a badass but he's really not you know he has all those crazy ass stories he tells i did this i did that i did that i did this but then when it comes down to it the motherfucker what he got his bag switched on him and had the bomb on him uh, he, he came into the fucking room last second, got caught and knocked himself out. He fell off the helicopter and did nothing. Like that shit was funny as fuck to me too. Aside from like the, the, the outlandish, crazy fucking dialogue in the movie. I think some of, I think one of the funniest parts to me was him coming in at the end and knocking himself out on accident when his fucking like jacket or whatever got stuck on the door. I thought that was fucking hilarious, man. This movie all in all, just these these action comedy style movies. I've seen, you know, action comedies before and stuff and I think they're fucking hilarious. I think action and comedy are, are a very good genre mix to have, you know, and I just, dude, thinking back to some of the, some of the fucking lines in this movie, like especially when she was talking to Reyna's security guard, bro, some of the shit she said to him, I just couldn't fucking believe it, man. Like, I know the movie's rated R and everything like that, but my God, bro. I wonder how many takes it took for them to do some of that shit because to say a line, some of the lines that she was saying, bro, like not only for her to not laugh, but the people she's saying it to, to not laugh has to be so hard. And I know she's been doing this for a long time, so maybe at this point it's easier for her. But for like people, uh, other people in the scene, it has to be so hard to be able to hear that stuff and not burst out laughing, man, because God damn, some of it is just fucking insane. Like when she was talking to him in the hallway about his fucking jacket, bro. And then when she's talking to him on the street about playing his heart like an accordion, dude, I just, oh my God, what the fuck, dude? These movies like action comedies in comparison to some of the other comedies i've done recently you know like the hangover pineapple express this is the end even like scary movie and stuff bro it's just action comedies are so different but so fucking funny in their own way man and this definitely makes me want to check out some more melissa mccarthy movies like i said i have seen some already i've seen identity theft i think i've watched part of the heat or seen clips from it or something at least but I want to check out some more shit with her in it because I know she is funny as fuck and she is a fantastic actor, man. But shout out to the homie That's So Gordo for requesting this over on Patreon once again, man. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to a bunch of other stuff I'm doing. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.